Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 31, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is going to focus on VB file and folder navigation, copying files, and compacting multiple Access backend files. This class, of course, follows Access Developer Level 30, and I started covering VB file I.O. in Developer 30, so I strongly recommend you take Developer 30 but also the entire series before that. There's a bunch of beginner, expert, advanced, and developer lessons, and I strongly recommend you take all of those before diving into this one. It is currently August of 2021, so I'm using Access 365, which is roughly equivalent to Access 2019. If you have any questions about the material covered in today's class, just scroll down to the bottom of the page that you're on and post them right there on the bottom of the page. And of course, if you have any other questions about Access that might not be related to this class, post them in the Access forum. Okay, let's take a quick look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn how to navigate files and folders right from inside of Access. First, I'm going to show you the file picker, which is pretty handy. If you just want to pick a file and then do something with it, okay, great. It's a real simple couple lines of code. But sometimes you want to actually navigate through the files and folders yourself with your own Access form. So we're going to show you how to set that up with a folder check a folder list box, a file list box. We'll use the dir function the get attribute function to determine what are directories and what are folders and files. Uh, we'll learn how to move up and down, navigate through the folders, right? Parent folder, subfolders. We'll learn how to open up files of any type using the shell execute function. And then we'll how learn how to determine the length of a file using the file len function. Lots of stuff in this lesson. In lesson two, we're going to learn how to copy files from one location to another. Now, I have covered bits and pieces from this lesson in various other videos. However, there's a lot of new stuff in this one, too. We're going to learn about the file copy command to copy files. We're going to create a central images folder so you can pick a file and then it'll copy it to your server images folder. We're going to learn to see how to check if a file and a folder exists with the file exists and folder exists functions. If the folder you want to copy to doesn't exist, we'll learn how to create that folder. We'll see how to read the Windows system environment variables so we can tell what the user's profile folder is where he stores his pictures. We'll learn how to separate a file from the folder. So if you have a complete path, we can pull the file name out, we can pull the folder name out. And we'll learn how to check the length of a file in bytes so we can make sure that the file copied correctly. Lots to cover in this video. In lesson three, we're continuing with copying files. We're going to delete the old profile picture. If it exists, we'll prompt the user first to make sure it's okay. Then I'll show you the kill command to delete a file. We'll verify the file was deleted. Then I'll show you how to timestamp files so that when you copy a file, in case you're trying to copy it over an old one with the same file name, this will give it a new file name. So it makes sure that all files are unique. We'll talk about some file I.O. error handling concerns, and I'll show you how to rename a file. In lesson four, we're going to make a form to compact multiple backend files. If you have a split database, you can use this routine to have access loop through all of the files in your backend folder that end in ACCDB. Use the DB Engine Compact Repair tool on them. Compact each one. Verify everything copied automatically back up files before compacting them just to make sure just to be safe and of course we'll verify everything and we'll put error handling on it and this is a, something that you'll run maybe once a week right you'll load this little utility up you'll click the button it'll compact all your backend databases and then you're good for the week 